Mm -hmm. And Abbasson Pilgrim, Bird of Paradise. Yeah, and it's good. You got Elspeth, Mortar Pods, Overrun. It's, it's got good interactions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. So. All right. So. This is gonna be a good matchup. Watch out, Josh plays. And everybody at home. Watch out, Josh plays because he's like an old school player. He's kind of like a like a street player. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the type of kid that would like challenge somebody to like an anti match on on in the middle of the street, not even on the playground, not even in the middle of the playground, just in the middle. Of, you know, he would get out of his car if the guy next to him was like, "Oh man, you play magic, I'll beat you." He'll just stop on the highway, <laughs> play on the side of the road. Look, look how he does a side shuffle. He's he, w watch his mannerisms, and you'll learn. All right, James goes to turn one Forest Bird. Just a pretty standard start, especially if he has see it ready. Josh got into this guy's head. He doesn't even know what's going on. I'm telling you. Josh has a good hand. He's got multiple uh, multiple place things, it looks like. Got some lands, so. Bluff the mental misstep, turn one, and hold yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, it resolves. Well, somebody tweeted in, what does it even mean? Honestly, I don't know. But he's a national <laughs> champion. So. Back in the day. All right. Wow. James Buckingham. This is a tweet from my friend Brendan, who uh, I, was, I was talking to uh, Nick, actually, about him earlier. Um, James Buckingham got 10th at Nats this year, actually. Really? That's good. Wow. Yeah. I think it's one of Brendan's uh, playtest partners. Awesome. Yeah, Nats is definitely a cool tournament. Only American players in multiple formats. It's fun. All right, so James has down um, the backbone of his deck. One of the backbones. He'll uh, definitely draw some cards. Mentor Every time of the meat. Yep. Every time a creature comes into play uh, with power two or less, yep, he can is pay one, one and draw, and draw a card. card. Yeah. yeah. So Joshua has a Plague Stinger. Josh takes the two damage. I think he's fine with that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think Josh doesn't have a third land, but we're not too sure. Yeah, he has no third land, it looks like. So let's see what James does. Maybe like a Lanor Elf, draw a card. Okay. An Abyssin's elf. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So the the other Lana World. He doesn't actually have Lana World in the deck, but it sure. Yeah. Yeah. It takes the yeah. plays the role of Lana World. Yep. Uh, and, bird draws uh, a card. Wow. Yeah. This is good for James. James is drawing all sorts of cards. Yep. All right. Let's see if Josh draws a land. Yep. See. Just top puts deck it. master. Yeah. Right off the top. Right off the top, and that's it. All right. So he's going to beat in for one. And I think he's going to just use a Tezzeret Gambit right away. What do you think? Uh, does he I didn't even see that he had it. but uh, I think I think he does have a Tezzeret Gambit in his hand. Yeah, so. I mean, just get that proliferate going. Why not? Yeah. But it looks like he's uh, he's tapping three. So that's a oh, okay, Phyrexian yeah. Crusader. That's yeah. a threat, though. Uh, yeah, I didn't see Phyrexian Crusader. Yeah. I, obviously, that's a better play. Th this model black infect deck, uh, infect deck really has a lot of a lot of power, you know? Yeah, it does. It, it's fast, it's efficient, it's got some discard, it's it's good. And I, I think Jerry said he made it, right? Um, or I, I don't know, I mean, he, he wrote about it at least. And he did, I think he did write about it a little bit. I yeah. know he, I don't know, uh, again, I was saying about um, Smitty on 60cards.com who created a mono black and effect list, which I think is very close to what yeah. Jerry's playing, what Josh is playing. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, in the meantime, James actually was able to play Garrick and immediately flip it by dealing two damage to the Crusader. Yeah, very, so, very good play by yeah. James. That that Garrick is really good. And and it's good because it's only one green, so like a blue-white deck could just splash it if they wanted to. Especially yeah. with, the, with the evil land, with the yep. evil blue-green land and stuff. So, it's good. Alright, um... I mean, Josh is definitely going to beat in. He's got to go after the Garrick, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was just like, no. I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, you, you're right about his matter. <laughs> He's just like, I'm killing your Garrick. <laughs> no, J Josh is a good player. He really yeah, is. Oh, I, I yeah. don't doubt it at all. Yeah. So, he checked out the Garrick just to uh, give himself a little bit more. more does he have another Phyrexian Crusader in his hand? He does. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's right at the top. So Yeah, James needs to jump block with that bird. Yeah, yep, good. So yeah. Chumps with the bird. And I'm pretty sure a Fresh Crusader will come down. 
I mean, the other thing you could do is tether a gambit to try to hit his fourth and fifth land drop for Skitherex if he thinks that's the only way he's going to win. So that might be a, a better play. What do you think? Yeah, I, I like I like what you're thinking. I don't, I don't like no. to get himself. Play, wow. Yeah, he goes to second Plague Singer. That's interesting. Uh, but he did get rid of that, that bird. Uh, there's hmm. only one bird left to chomp there. All right. Maybe, maybe that's the best play? I don't really know. I think I dropped my phone somewhere. Oh, I did. You got it? Yeah. All right. All right, so Mentor of the Meek drawing some cards. Yeah, I mean, that card's really good. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Look, he, he makes a, a wolf with Garrick and just pays one, draws a card. Like That, seems, that card's really that, good that in draft. interaction seems really good. If you're drafting, first pick that card. That card's really good. Yeah, I haven't played with it, but I mean, the interaction yeah. being able to uh, just pop out tokens for no mana with something like Garrick or Elspeth, which uh, which he... Yeah, he has Elspeth. Does have Elspeth, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, there she is. She's not under the Planeswalker spot, that's why. Yeah. But, she, you know, going Elspeth, make three guys, pay three, draw three, you know, probably not in the same turn because you need eight mana to do that, but drawing that many cards in an aggressive deck is really, really, really good. I mean, it's good any time, but aggressive decks tend to run out of fuel a lot faster. Yeah. All right, ju just for the record, Josh yeah. Wagner is actually my, si my, my second favorite national champion of all time. First is Antonio De Rossi. 2005 in Baltimore. Yeah, actually. 2005. Yeah, had a 25 percent split with him or something. 20 percent split. Oh, thanks. Yeah, if Antonio is watching, so thanks for the, thanks for the 5,000, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and now they changed uh, nationals. All right, so back to the game. So, uh, so this thing is Dice honored monk. Yeah, star. Everybody at home, star, star. It doesn't fly though. No, but it's very similar. It has to, vigilance, uh, and the tokens that he makes fly. So, it looks like it does fly though, right? In the picture. Kind of, yeah. I have to yeah. look closer look to the it picture. Up. But. Yeah, look it up. Yeah. It kind of has like a... It kind of would make sense that it did fly, right? It puts two flyers into play. It kind of has wings, you know? Right. You could trick people. I tricked Pat Sullivan one time. <laughs> with, a, with a card. It had a cape on it. I was like, three in the air, three in the air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. in the air. Not right. actually, but you know. So Josh is now untapping. I, I, I don't really know what Josh's plan is. He yeah, at this point, Josh is. Yeah. It's not looking great for Josh. He's uh, stalled on mana, facing down every creature in Magic, um, and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he really is. Yeah. I feel like, again, saying how like you know, Josh is kind of like a street player. I feel this is something like that he would do. He would just like lose game one on purpose, <laughs> less off the ante. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself against the wall. I, I fight better in a corner. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh man. All right. Uh, yeah. Swing in. I mean, if I was, I, I can't even really swing in because James is the two, the, 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 the two spirit tokens. You know. This game, I would say, is going to is going to James. Yeah. There's That's a this. third plague stinger, which is not great. I, I don't feel like it's. All that good. So, yeah. both of them get chump blocked by the spirits, as you suggested. Yeah, definitely. James untaps. I mean, the thing is with that, the mentor of the meek, he could just. Every card is no longer a dead card. Because lots of times you don't want to draw a bird of paradise or, or the, the pilgrim elf guy. Right. But late game, but now it doesn't matter. It becomes like a, you know, a draw. Yeah. Draw See, somebody tweeted in 24 lands is wrong for that deck. He's yeah, that, probably right because Jerry is playing 26. Yeah, that's what Smitty was saying. That's Smitty, actually. That's oh, that's the guy Smitty? That, that, that Jerry mentioned in the booth cool, that, yeah. that I've been talking about, 60cards.com. Yeah. Always making uh, very interesting decks, and uh, he's, he's definitely a brewer. Cool, that's awesome. I really like when people like brew new decks, or e even like tweak instead of just playing yes. in that deck. And that deck, I don't really like that too much. So, yeah, Mentor Meek is so good. It's, it's, it's easily a first pick and draft. With all that mana, too. I mean, it's, it's actually fueling itself. Uh, it's, it's just fueling itself. Like, he keeps drawing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Double mentor. So, yeah. he gets to pay two and draw two cards every uh, every creature that comes into play. Yeah. So, but but for mean, that one, you can only pay one, just for the record. Yeah. So, people know, yeah. Um, and Oblivion, Oblivion Ring. Ring. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to. Some overkill here. Do we know how many. Is Garrick on, like, what? How many counters? Do we have any clue? can't see. We can find out, but 
Yeah, it looks like Josh is uh, scooping it up. Yeah, it didn't matter. All right. Matter, but... So Josh gets crushed game one, but on the bright side, let's take a look at Josh's sideboard. All right, so he's got a despise. I would want to bring that in. Seems good. Yeah, I think despise is good. Hey, uh, what's the guy named Smitty? Yep. Smitty is despise possible good enough to play main deck? Like as like a one or two of. Because I, I think despise is pretty good. Like this, yeah. yeah. So uh, I mean, I, I like want to hear what Smitty says though. You know, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he has to say about it. Yeah. Um, Smitty, if you have suggestions for uh, for sideboarding, I know you don't have the list. Well, I but mean, uh, I'm just yeah. kind of curious what kind of cards he thinks that uh, that that I, a, a mono black deck would sideboard, uh, or mono black infect deck would sideboard against something like James uh, James is playing. That beer is pretty good. He likes distress main better, like which we yeah, saw. Yeah, of course. Uh, but but I'm saying like, would you could you see yourself playing one or two despises main deck, like kind of up the discard, because the way the curve works out. It's good to go like turn one despise, turn two like plague stinger, you know, kind of because there's not lots of one drops. I see. Just being able to take advantage of turn one. Yeah, I mean, sure, this card sucks later in the game, and you could miss with despise, but I don't know. All right, so anyway, he's gonna sideboard. He's gonna bring in. Could, could you ever see Josh bringing in Liliana in this matchup? Like he's gonna be on the play, like maybe right. Yeah, I wonder if the Liliana would really be that. I mean, I guess I see what you're saying. It becomes an edict, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't, like I don't edict, know but I better, like you know. Liliana, right? I almost like something like Ratchet Bomb better because yeah. so many uh, James is playing so many small, like cheap guys, just so he can get the mentor of the meek yeah. kind of interaction going on. I think Josh is going to bring in Ratchet, the, the two Ratchet Bombs for uh -huh. sure. Because he's, A, he's on the play. B, he can just blow up all the uh, um, all James's like you know mana people and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe Liliana, the Despise, yes. Definitely not the member side. Definitely not the, the Black Spell Bomb. Um, He's got Sever the Bloodline and Phyrexian Bat Mother, but I don't really think either of those come in at this point. I think... Uh, yeah, the, the, the Bat Mother, I mean... It he is wants to be more streamlined, you know? Like, more... He doesn't want to I mean, play a four cast and cost one for one removal. Well, two for one, I guess, if you flash wait, it back. Wait, do you think... Do, can you ever cut... Uh, the last right from the deck or no? Yo, uh, Smitty, uh, uh, for example, if you know your opponent's going to bring in like artifact kill, would you ever take out your uh, last right? Yeah. To make oh. it like dead kind of? Or no? I wouldn't think, I mean, it probably depends on how much you want to bring in too. You know what I mean? Like, are you, if you're thinking I need room and they're going to bring in artifact removal, I'll, I'll do that. But yeah. if you don't really need the room, if you're not like um, hurting for slots, if you already have stuff to take out, I wouldn't really just go like, I'm going to cut yeah, these I, and try to find something to fill a spot. Yeah, you know? I mean, like this case, it wouldn't work because Wagner wants to bring in the Ratchet Bombs mm -hmm. and Wagner actually has slightly more artifacts. But just say something, for example, like in like Jerry's deck where like his only artifacts are the last rights for... Yeah, he, besides the Yeah, well, yeah, I guess Jerry doesn't try them. Yeah, I guess you can't do that. Because I used to do that sometimes. I used to take out... My Stoneforge Mystics and all my equipment. Yeah. And I would and bring in like Bane Slayers and like Sun Titans and beat them. Right. Yeah. Because they just have a bunch of dead cards. Exactly. They would have all these like artifact removal stuff and, and whatnot because I knew that's their game plan. So, but whatever. Here's uh, somebody linked us what? Smitty going 4 0 with Mono Black Infect and Standard Dailies. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he's definitely been doing very well with it uh, recently. Let's see. That was. Uh, cool. This is just this past The most week, recent obviously. one was 1017. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to take a look at that list real quick. Smitty, we're looking at your deck right now. The one you went 4-0 with. It's, read it off. Why don't you read it off to people? So yeah. His looks a lot... Uh, he's got the four Phyrexian Crusader, of course, four Plague Stinger, two Scytherix, three Spellskite, four Whispering Spectre, and two Liliana uh, main deck. And then uh, a Doomblade, four Lash Rive, two Tesserit's Gambit, three Trigon of Rage, three Victim of Night, two Virulent Wound, uh, four Ink Moth, 22 Swamp. So... Yeah. Um, that's the same exact mana base as, uh, as Jerry had, and this is probably a little more similar to Jerry's list, although yeah. I don't think Jerry wasn't running the Lilianas at all, was he? Or was he not running the main? Maybe I'm just... No, he didn't have Liliana. You know what? I have the, I have the list right here, but yeah. yeah. Um, can, can you play like any other land in this format for black, just for mono black, or no? Like, you play like, a Ghost Quarter, but like... You want to go get 
most the most you can I think out of those lash rides. Yeah. Because how like how awesome it is that you can equip them without paying mana. Yeah, I mean ideally the the best thing to do is to play lands that also like a card like Rat's Edge was really good back in the day. Now I don't even think it'd be played. Yeah. Rat's Edge was I, tap, I don't remember that. Yeah, tap the out of colorless, tap four, sack a land, deal damage anywhere. Do you remember? Um, it was played a just lot. Vaguely. What, yeah. what, was that in like uh That was a Nemesis, Tempest? I okay, believe. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, I wasn't I played during Tempest a bit, but uh but I kind of tapered off a little bit for during Nemesis and Prophecy. Yeah, uh, sure. But all right, so do we have the sideboarding plans? Yeah. By any uh, chance, have the sideboard it? Oh, we do. Oh, we do, okay. I'm, All right, we're going to check right now. Okay. Here we go. Josh, uh, plus two ratchet bombs. Plus two. He, he does bring in the sever, uh, sever the love line. Interesting. Yeah, um, that, that seems fine. I like it, but it seems so expensive to it's possibly low, you think? kill like a, you know, I guess it really depends on how much James overextends the same creature, you know, same named creature. Yeah. Then you can get, if you can get two for one out of it, I mean two for one on the first but casting. The, the other thing is, is that how's he going to flash that back with 24 lands? Right. That, you know, that's and what a 26 I'm saying, land like deck, sure, that's, that's reasonable, but. I, I, yeah, I don't know, like, so anyway, he brings in two ratchet bombs, as we thought, two sever the bloodline and one despise, takes out uh, two Tezzeret's Gambit. Takes out a tumble magnet, takes out the spell bomb and uh, distress. Okay. So he, he cuts a distress for a despise. That that makes sense. Yeah. Um, All right. So so Wagner's on the play. Wagner leads off to the swamp. No despise. Look again. I think Wagner only has a two lander again. I guess he do need lots of lands in his deck. <laughs> it's funny. Ripped though, it off the top. I, I don't know why Wagner's not shuffling his cards around. I guess he just doesn't care at this point. He's just like. I think the play is, what's the option? Just oh, he's got an old school distress, or a plague stinger. I think you got to go plague. Uh, he's going with distress, really. Yeah, old school distress. All right, let's see. Let's see if it was the right play. I would want a plague stinger. So he's got hero, hero, mortar pod, two lands, and a thrun. See, he doesn't even have a play this turn, essentially. But I mean, the play would have been mortar pod, which he would have just ate. The okay, so Wagner makes the right play. Take the mortar pod. That's what I would do. You agree, Joey? I yeah, do I agree. agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he does take the Mortipod. It turned out Wagner makes the right play. Yeah. All right, Mortipod's gone. James reads the card one more time. Yeah, Distress is like a Thought Seize where you don't lose the two life, but you have to pay an extra block. Yeah, yeah. That actually worked out pretty good because now Wagner knows that he needs that mana, so Wagner could just go Doomblade on the uh, on the bird, on the bird. Yeah. which uh, is not looking like what he's going for right here. Nah. Increase, no, uh, he's gonna he's gonna play the uh, one one flyer. Oh, the uh, whispering specter. Yeah, the whispering yeah. specter. Yeah. All right. I like how Wagner reads the card like it's the first time he played it all day, and it might, it might have actually been. <laughs> you know? Wait a minute. What does this do again? Yeah. All right. So James James right now should play Thrun. But he plays Hero instead. I think Thrun's a better play there. No? I like the Thrun. Well, I can see... Why do gets to go Doomblade, Plague Stinger? Yeah. Yeah. I think I would have led with Thrun. What do you think? Like, I know we could see his hand, but no, in general... Yeah, I mean, if you... you got to put Josh on having Doomblade somewhere in the deck. Yeah. So I would like to... I think the Thrun makes sense first... Just to be able to put the pressure on right away. Yeah. Without whether or not Josh has a Doom Blade. I mean, th now the bad thing is, is that James has to play Hero now to follow his line of play pretty much. But Josh actually has the removal spell he boarded in, sever the bloodline. Yeah. Yeah. So. And this is what I was talking about, where you were with that infect card. I think I was talking to Jerry with you can make him discard like three cards, and I think that's what's going to happen. So what, James, with the Whispering Spectre? Yeah, exactly. So James does have one poison. All right, it says zero right now, but it will, we'll change that so everybody at home can keep up. All right, James. So so James, after this attack, is going to have three poisons. So his whole entire hand is going to be empty this turn. Watch what's going to happen. Oh, well, James, uh, Wagner's drawing lands. Yeah, so, so he's going to sever the bloodline, attack with both sack, and uh, James is just going to be in top deck mode. So yeah, it looks like Josh is probably going to take game two. He's got, he's got, uh, he's got a way better position at this point. Oh, he's going to chump. Okay. 
I mean, that works out really good for Ragnar anyway. Yeah. They sever the bloodline on the hero of Bladehold. Plague yeah. Stinger gets in for a poison. Yeah. So James is on two poisons right now. And Wagner's sitting in a great spot. Wow, a third hero. That's, that's insane. Man, that yeah. is ridiculous. It's kind of too bad he didn't have Oh, he drew a distress. Play. That's pretty good. So right now, now, right now, Wagner should distress before he makes an attack to see what's in James's hand. It looks like he's going with that. Yeah. He tapped two black. Oh, now he's untapping. <laughs> Thinking about it, I don't know what he's got in his hand besides the distress. I like this game now. I feel like I have something vested in these games. <laughs> you know? Because they're exciting. Oh, yeah, they absolutely are. So, yeah. distress. that was a distress. Is he wow, or dude. Or he's, yeah, that's insane. He's got to sack the, uh, the guy now. Yeah, he's going he's yeah. to be able to take out James' entire hand right here. Yeah, I mean, it's Play Spicer, Thrun, Elspeth. Take the Elspeth. Swing. Go to, for, go to four. Wait, hold on. Four. So it's a three-turn clock. Thrun, Blaze Splicer. No, he actually oh, man. might be better off not. Let's see. So. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, he does yeah. sack it. I th yeah, I think it's right. Uh, yeah, he has a good follow-up. Yeah, so he's got yeah. the, the Phyrexian Crusade yeah, it's to, definitely to right. maintain that three-turn clock. Actually, yeah, it's, it's a two-turn uh, clock. Two -turn clock. Yeah, it's three-three. Right. Three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely looking good this game as opposed to last game. James draws. Oh, I feel James on, draws Josh, like James. pretty good. You ever feel that? I played him like last week in the Philly Grudge match in the team finals. Oh, yeah? And he drew like so well versus me. All right, so he beats in, gets him some damage. Gets some, uh, some dudes here. Yeah. I think this is maybe like... The third time I've ever seen Hero of Blade Hold get guys, and <laughs> everybody always kills, kills it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't think I've ever seen it actually successfully attack. Yeah. So. All right. Now, whatever Wagner draws here is good. If he draws a land, he's one step closer to flashing back to Sever. Yeah. And if he draws a spell, he can cast any spell on his deck. So it's good. Well, he gets in for uh, th three more poison. And is it game? I think it's. I think it's probably game. Sword of feast and famine. Doesn't really do too much here, right? Well, he equips it, gets an extra two damage out of it. So. Yeah. Why didn't Wagner play the land? Right? Yeah, that's a good question. Why didn't he play that land? Because he does have the Sever in his graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. Does he no, have no cards in hand, though? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Wagner's like, is that game? I mean, it is. All right. All right, yeah, so we're game three. Jo Joshua went to like three, I think, right there or something. I don't even. Pretty low, but not no, he low was enough to lose. Well, four, it was. He went to eight, pretty much. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I thought he took thirteen there because two more guys were going to be coming in. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, uh, he was on six. Yeah, he did go three. Yeah. But yeah, it's not very relevant because he wasn't at zero. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, James had no answer for the uh, infectors. Yeah. Somebody tweeted any top deck the sword that turn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean he was he had like. Yeah. Otherwise, he just would have right. played it last turn. But right. Yeah. That's all right. That's good. All right. So now, do you think Josh would change any of the sideboard plans because it's, he's going to be on the draw? Uh. Like, does anything become worse? Like, Ratchet, but a bomb becomes worse. Could he like? You know what? What do you think about Phyrexian and Bat, uh, Phyrexian and Bat Mother? Because he knows that James like has Thrun as one of his like big tools. That's a good point. Yeah, that seems really good against Thrun. It might be better than Ratchet Bomb, actually. And it's huge, you know. <laughs> like, and obviously James not playing Infect. Yeah. Uh, so he's not like in danger of adding to his uh, Infect. 
Totally. Or as poison so, count. Somebody you know? else tweeted it now that it was only 11 damage because the hero had two counters on it. The hero had two counters on it from, but I thought we factored it. Oh, and, oh, anyway, yeah, he was right. short, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was short a couple of damage. You're right, it did, it did have some uh, minus ones, I forgot. Yeah. So, this is a good matchup. Josh Wagner versus James Buckingham. I do like James's deck. If, I, if you're going to play green-white, that's a deck that personally I would play. Um, What's up? Malira. Yeah. 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 Suddenly, good. Malira actually gets, gets good when uh, all these infect decks start popping up. Yeah. You know what I'm surprised? That nobody plays Olivia yet. Yeah, Olivia Boldarin seems That card is so good. Actually, like, something you might want to actually think about a little bit. If you just shoot something, it becomes a 4-4. Four -four. It doesn't even have to kill the thing. It just doesn't shoot it, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, dude. Right. <laughs> this guy tweeted him, lose game one on purpose to get information of wall out game two and three. Yep. That's something Wagner would do. You know? <laughs> That's just how he rolls. I, th I, th I think Wagner has multiple Grand Prix top eights. He top eighted Atlanta in 2003, correct? Let's see if we can get the... Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then Wagner always shakes his head too, like he's losing. I remember I played against him last year at Nationals. <laughs> That's all he did. He would like shake his head like, yeah, I lose, but, you know. We lost to Jerry? Oh, wow, okay. This just in, guys. Jerry Thompson is X and 2. Ben Lundquist, on the other hand, is X and 3. They just played against each Did you guys split? No split, wow. That's insane. The, the, the um, number... His only shot was Crusader. Yeah. Crusader. And he drew it? Yeah. Yeah. Was it three games? Two games. Yeah. Oh, ben, if you had one word, all right, to describe Josh Wagner as a player, Josh how would you? Wagner? Yeah, street, right? Like, uh, like he's like a street player. Like, couldn't you see Josh Wagner just like playing some some magic in like a middle of a playground for like anti, losing game one on purpose, then going double or nothing? He's the national champion, right? Yeah, 2003. He used to play with. A, he was on the team with Gabe Walls. Yeah. If you're on the team with Gabe Walls, like. Do you know the mind tricks that goes on right there? Gabe's good. <laughs> yeah, Gabe is really good. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe tricks me every time I play him. See? Gabe tricks Ben Lundquist, who is possibly the best player to ever come to one of these Star City events. Is that true, Ben? Uh, it's not not true. It's not not true. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So, so Ben, what happened right now? You want to pull up a chair? You can pull up a chair if you want. Okay. It's better than Ben just standing up. What, what, what happened is James wins game one, all right? But he doesn't just win game one. Wagner throws game one, all right, on purpose, pretty much. Like, yeah? Yeah. To get him set, set <laughs> yeah. up for the next day? He keeps a two-lander. He plays like a Plague Stinger. Whatever he does, all right? But then game game two, Wagner, Jedi mind tricks us all. He's got to sever the bloodline in his graveyard, and he's got okay. five lands, and he draws a six so. land. doesn't even play a six lane, you know, and still wins. He just goes deep in the Jedi mind trick, and that was game three. Right, right, right. But what did he trick him with? Like? He, just, he just tricked him. Right. Yeah, you saw I trick him. All right, anyway, so James is on the play. James is playing green white. Wagner's playing mono black infect with only 24 lanes. All right, so the beard looks cool though, right? How about you? He looks like uh, somebody Someone. famous, right? <laughs> somebody, fa everybody looks like somebody famous when you're on SCG Live. Reminds me of Chillian Murphy in 28 Days Later. I see a little uh, what? Jim Carrey there. But Ooh, a little Jim Carrey. Interesting. All right, so they're both mulliganing. Who do you think's favored now if they're both mulliganing? What's the matchup? It's uh, green white versus infect versus mono black infect. Wait, he's playing green white, not bant. Just green white. Yeah, just green white like aggro, like eight eight elves, like the the four pilgrim elves, four birds of paradise, Elspeth. He played um, bant last time. Yeah, he played bant. We 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 lost to James Buckingham's team in the finals of the grudge match. Yeah. Yeah. And we both lost to him during in the tournament too. Not me. The standard tournament, I thought. No, no. not me. Oh, no. he beat me. No. So, all right. Josh so, actually uh, cut the uh, so Whispering Spectre for Green Rex and Batmother, by the way. Oh, see? Yo, most of my suggestions that I give, the people do. I like it. What would you suggest? I just said that Rex and Batmother is, is actually pretty good versus a guy who's playing like Troll aesthetic. Or the big Troll. Thrun. The Thrun. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he, and he brought one in. So. What were you gonna say, Ben? I'm gonna say Green White's favorite. Green White, really? Because Elspeth seems awesome. 
like unbeatable almost. Well, he's got despise and distress. Okay, but like once it comes despise down, you're saying. Yeah, my nose really itches. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Wagner has the uh, Crusaders though, which is really good against El Smith. It's okay. But no. Yeah. This is good. I guess he has Ink Moth Nexus too. Okay. Yeah, he does. I'm still surprised only 24 lands. I mean, that's something I would do. Skip, I'm skip only playing 22. <laughs> yeah, but he's playing Mono Black Infect. I remember DeRosa played a 19 land deck. Remember Affinity? he's. Affinity? No, not Affinity. It was a Blue Green Madness. It was like 19 lands at Grand Prix Cleveland. He kept wanting. Like, somebody told him, like, Nimble Mongoose was good or something. Yeah. Like, last minute tech, so he just, like, threw out some lands. It was, like, insane. And he made, like, top 16. All right, here so, we go. All right, this is it. Both down to six cards. I feel like Wagner's just going to get a nut draw. Oh, uh, Mulligan. Mulligan, right? No, no lands at all? He might have one right in the front. What, what about James? Does he have anything? He's got a mortar pod. Dude, I would love to see both these guys going up to, like, four. Wow. It, it's actually just as hard to see this here as it is on my computer when I'm at home. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's why sometimes we do, I don't want to say make a mistake, but not, not yeah, get it all Right, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's tough to see. Even with higher resolution, it's just like the angles that the, the players hold the cards, you just can't really tell a lot. Yeah. Wow. Well, so you they're both mulligan. keeping? No, no, I, no, Josh can't keep the hand. Is it double lash right? Yeah. He can't keep, he can't keep double jet. Oh my God, he kept. I love Josh Wagner for keeping that. <laughs> oh, he's on the draw. Yeah, I thought you said he was on the play. No. It's Ooh, still bad. Turn one to spies? Turn one to spies. Mentor of the meek. Yeah, wow. Know. No, this guy's hand is terrible. Yeah, but he just needs a white source. So <laughs> He needs running white sources now. Yeah, but what's he? he's not going to put any pressure on him. Well, I don't know. I think he drew another white card. Here comes Mortipod. Gavany Township. Wagner like instantly drew his card and then he like put it back. Yeah. No, I didn't see it. <laughs> we all saw it. He didn't it was sever the bloodline. So they'll be like, I gotta shuffle now, because it's not good. <laughs> That'd be sick tech. No, he's got a he got a second swamp in his hand. Yeah, he just drew it last turn on his draw. Yeah, obviously, and he's gonna draw a third swamp now and play Frexian Crusader. Is that in his hand? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. Let's see, does he draw the white? Ooh, did he? No. Dude, these games <laughs> are intense because they're playing for top eight right now. Uh, it's, oh, townships and no I, it's definitely a swamp. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. He pumps this right there. This is sick. And yeah, definitely Rexy Crusader. Yep. Yeah. Dude, Wagner is so sick. Keeps the worst hand. Gets rewarded. This is good. It's like every one of my opponents. Oh. There's the white. Uh oh. Uh oh, what's this? Mentor, Mentor right? Or no, place place. Oh, he took he the, he took the mentor. mentor. I thought he, oh, he did, another he one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wow, that's sick because now that uh, that thing's a colorless. Yeah. So now so we know what he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna draw, draw swamp. He's gonna draw swamp. Yeah. Actually, he's probably gonna draw ink moth nexus. Ink moth. That's the best yeah, draw yeah. he could draw right now. I mean, he's had two swamps in a row, right? Essentially, yeah. No, oh. It, it, oh no, he had a sever. What was that? Another uh, another crusader. Yeah, oh, he went good. swamp sever swamp. Yeah, this is really good. He should play the second crusader here. Yeah, of course. Why would you do anything else? You just lose your guy to mortar pot if you play the other yeah. one. Yeah. No, why is he attacking? <laughs> Does he think it's a white golem? Oh my god. No, wait, no, no. A Frenchy Crusader is uh, his first strike. Oh, okay, so yeah, it'll yeah. just shrink it. No, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I was right. Why is he They're attacking? They're both first strike, but it'll make it a. a yeah, I don't more. understand why. Yeah, that. Wait, is he. Do you think he's like just bluffing him? Bluffing him with what? Like a. Uh, Virulent one? What? Ring, ring No, they'd play Virulent Wound if they're oh, going to yeah, play one of those. Wound. I don't understand what's going on. Am I like too close No. Though? Wait, he Another took it. Why, wait, why did he take the damage? What's uh, going on here? I'm, I'm completely not, lost. So That golem does have first strike. It does have first strike. He's afraid that he'll lose his other guy, maybe? Like, if if he has a removal spell, it could kill the uh, Blade Splicer. It doesn't matter, because he killed the Blade Splicer, then he sh sacrifices the token to, kill, to finish it off. No, because it doesn't have first strike anymore. No. Okay. That thing's a 3-3. Three, three. The 2-2 two, two first strike's going to shrink it to a 1-1. One, one. Oh, I see what you're saying. And yeah, then he yeah, said, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Everybody home. I don't. I, don't, I have no clue what's going on here. Whoa. Uh, Wagner just bluffs him. Like, t completely bluffs him because... There's not even a good... Th that's a bad 
bad attack. There's and not a card yes. that he could have that makes Yeah, would, like, I don't think of anything block. that would actually make that make sense. It's a bad, or, or, it's a bad attack. It was just a block. And it's a bad not block, but because Wagner is so street and so good, <laughs> it's insane. This is why he's national champion seven years ago. He didn't play Magic. <laughs> this is why he's national years. champion. Makes yeah. If you go and talk he probably machine. had a sick poker face right there. Like, yeah. He, like, sick, like, no idea. Yeah. And, and I guarantee when we bring Wagner in the booth, he'll just be like, I, I didn't even know that guy had first strike, you know? And <laughs> Dude. Well, just to play with our emotions or what? Yeah. Talk about so he drew another white. Yeah, so hero. This guy Blade isn't good Hole. though. Who isn't good? The hero? The hero. Yeah. Yeah. There's hero blade hole. Whatever. Alright, here it comes. Wagner's definitely drawing a swamp off the top. Or a Nexus. Ooh, play <laughs> I love this. I love how he draws a card and not even his thing. Yeah. <laughs> so plague stinger off the top for Wagner. Alright, so now I mean the the funny thing is is that Wagner's still not in that great of a shape. Because, no, he's not. Because James has the land that's going to put counters on his guys. Which will remove the uh, that mother counter. Yeah. Or, like, they'll erase each other. Wait, why is Wagner not... Oh, man. Here why comes a uh, whisper expected. Why Wagner doesn't attack now, though? I don't know. Yeah. This is fun. Wouldn't you sack it to... Or do you, does it have to deal damage? Yeah, it's got to deal damage, yeah. Damage, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I think James has a forest and something else in his hand. Yeah, he's doing the shuffle there. Can't really tell. It can be a forest. <laughs> Somebody just tweeted in. <laughs> that play is so gangster. <laughs> what? Some guy tweeted in that his attack was so gangster. <laughs> so good. <laughs> well, the play was so gangster. All right. <laughs> it was Smitty. <laughs> oh, was this movie? Yeah. Dude, that guy's awesome. Alright, so James is. I don't really know what James is thinking. I know what Wagner's thinking. <laughs> I need a land? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wagner's like, man, why didn't I play a 25th land? He's thinking, I hope he plays another hero. <laughs> You think so? That's, that wouldn't be good. And, and then you'll draw land and swamp, right? Oh, yeah. That or would ink mob nexus, right? <laughs> that would be really good. I, th I think James should just pass the turn. I think he should kill the uh, the flyer and equip his hero. Wait. No, because he wants to have enough mana to put a, a token. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but I really... Like he, I'm sorry, he wants to have enough mana to put a counter on all his guys. It costs five mana to do it, essentially. And you only have six? I don't know if that's that good right now. I think it's pretty good. The people for you guys. Like, when has it ever been bad? Because just ask the judge for, for some change. Put counters on your guys <laughs> and then walk away with the judge's change. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wouldn't you, rather put the, do that. wouldn't you rather put the mortar pod the on your that. blade hold and attack with it? The, the you get in hero? four damage? Yeah. And then make it to an O one? Yeah. And then, like, start pumping it up. With, with the extra tokens that you get. Maybe. I mean, the other thing is that James has to be cautious that, like, Wagner just doesn't have a Doom Blade or something oh, to, to get rid of. Right this is bad. What, why, would, why would you attack like that? It's first strikers. All right, well, yeah. Hero coming in with the... Uh, oh, double he's going to... Now he's going to put the plus one, plus one counter on it. This is, this is better than my play. How, how is it better than your play? He doesn't even have to he doesn't have to go after the hero. He could just eat up whatever he wants to eat up, kind of. Yeah, but he got the free the tokens for free. And Blade sure. Splicer sucks. Yeah, Blade Splicer does suck, but yeah. like I still don't I still don't really agree too much on Blade Splicer coming in. Yeah. Uh, no, I, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. This yeah. is good. Yeah. Okay, his attack's pretty good. All right, somebody said this is why uh, Sever is the wrong choice of removal. It might be. If it was something cheaper, like go for the throat or something. Either that or What's just more land. Well, I mean, if it's, it's going to be on the sideboard, you know what I'm saying? I, Sever's in the... Okay. Uh, Sever... Alex Bertatini was playing Sever, right? You like it? He was playing it in, like, the, uh, the solar, solar Flare decks, yeah. so you can, like, mill it. You know, like... Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's yeah. fine there. This... I don't know about here, though. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's... I think in these aggro-type decks... You don't want expensive removal. Like, I didn't play Brimstone Volley in my red deck because I want a cheap oh, removal spell yeah. like, every time. You play Shots? I'm playing Galvanic Blast, yeah. Oh, Galvanic Blast? Yeah. 
All right, so less than 10 minutes. You know what, another thing that he could do right now, Wagner could blo uh, gang block with the 1-1 one -one to make him use that mortar pot right now. So watch, imagine this, right? Imagine he, he yeah, 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 yes, should, yes, that, this that's is what he should do because he just forces him to use the yes, mortar Yes, exactly. Pod. Yeah. Okay, all three guys go on the hero. Yeah. That's definitely the right play. Yep. Definitely not just the two Crusaders. Yeah, definitely not yet. It's definitely all three. All three, then if he wants to, no, do another one. I'm, I'm pretty sure he should, he should do all three. Uh, he's just. So he's going. Is he going that route? Oh really? He's just taking five. So he didn't. So he's so he's going like that instead. Okay. I don't like that. He should have killed the two tokens no, also because he has. He's so, tokens, somebody right? somebody else tweeted the same thing that that he did. What? You you just take five, like you you block like this. Why? I kind of like. Triple blocking the hero. If you block the other way, then you, he can't attack with the hero next turn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, so so now James taps five to put a counter on his guys to deal seven damage, essentially. Yeah. So he wants to bring Wagner out to 13. No, oh, that's a lot of counters. Yeah. I don't know why he's putting on the blade. Like, the blade splicer and the other guy is just dead. All right? Yeah. I guess they want to be proper. Sometimes you can't be proper when there's <laughs> Tell only... Tell them to put it on the germ... Yeah, there you go. When there's only 10 minutes left can be around. proper. Put it on the germ token. Yes. Still seven. Yeah. All right, so definitely, uh, you know, I wouldn't say controversy, but a lot of, a lot of different it, plays yeah, that he could have made. Yeah, that was a really complicated... It's also better to kill the tokens, right? Because does he have, like, the token anthem in his deck? No, he doesn't have token anthem. Oh, okay. But I see what you're saying. All right, let's see what he draws. Well, it's it's good that the blaze splicer's gone There's because that, uh, now the golem doesn't. Have, yeah, obviously he drew it, but but now, now the golem doesn't have first strike anymore. So that was another reason why I'm thinking maybe the blaze splicer shouldn't have gone in. Okay. But I don't know. That's fair. All right, so now Wagner draws his fourth land and he, and he's lost. He's probably gonna sever the hero, right? Sever the hero? Do you have to sever the hero? Do you have? No, but he just took seven last turn and the board like kind of didn't change. Well, what happens if he just plays last right this turn? Now he's got a 4-4 four, four blocker. So is Hero going to just walk into the... But he has to... Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Four, but his Hero's a 4-5. Hero's a 4-5. The Hero is a 4-5, but you could also put a 2-2... Two, two. I mean, Wagner can't attack... Well, Wagner's thinking all this out right now. Let's see what he comes up with. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll let it's Wagner fun, think. Fun to let, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wagner, you're playing the game. We're just watching. So you know what you got to do. Touching national that champion. There. Yeah, he, yeah. Well, I don't know why I ever second guessed the national champion. Yeah. I, I technically didn't second guess him. I just, I'm not uh, a national just, champion. Just, uh, yeah. I'm not a national champion. If I didn't punt, I could have been a national champion. Me too. Yeah, I punted versus. Uh, what's his? Uh, I punted game four of the finals. And when you're up two one. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. This game, this game is a really tight one. Really tight one. You know what Wagner's kind of thinking? Wagner's thinking if he can sneak that last right on that one on flyer. <laughs> He's like, can I trick this guy? So, uh, swings in with a specter. James has one in hand. So. Yeah, just one card. Yeah, I don't think it's a good card either. So he's just thinking about taking it, but I think you still have to shoot it. Yeah, I think it just makes sense. It saves yourself an infect counter. Yeah. But on the other hand, it does. But uh, if it's a land in his hand, land is actually good because he can start moving the mortar pot around and putting counters yeah. on stuff. So I. But but there's no chance Wagner's ever gonna sack it. If, he t if, for example, say James takes it, there's no chance Wagner's going to sack, I don't think. He might. I mean, if that card was good, he just would have played it last turn rather than putting counters on his guys. <laughs> Somebody just tweeted in. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of me? No, no, the guy tweeted in. He has to go to the bathroom, but he doesn't want to leave. 
Okay, so you I came up laptop. out with my play. All right, so you came up with your play. Might not be right. It might be right. Because the golem can't attack yet. Because if the golem even is a 5-5, he just double blocks with the two first strikers. So. So, Sever's the hero. Yeah. As Smitty was saying, Sever's oh, the hero. Then, uh, and then Lash Rise. Is that another hero? Imagine if he draws another hero. Uh, I, think it was, I think it was a foil card. I see a forest. No, it's a. It's a. It's a it's, oh, yeah, so it's a yeah, okay. yeah, that's what I thought it was. All right, wow. So, so this game is actually shifting in Wagner's favor now. Yeah. 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 Pretty yeah. far. And as Smitty says, uh, go sever here, and then the Lash Rides will take over the game on Crusaders. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think he has three poison now, also. Yeah, I think he does have three poisons. Yeah. So that'll be updated, right? Oh, it's already updated. It's awesome. So. Did he not sacrifice well, it? Well, it's got, it's got a counter on it, so it's actually a, a one-two. Oh, a one-one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, now it's a one-one. Yeah. It was a one-two, yeah. So. All right, pass of the turn. He, I don't know. Dude, I know what's going through the last. Why does he right think now. that what? the one-one germ token is better than a one-one flying infector? I don't understand why he thinks that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure either. So, so Wagner draws a fifth land. So Wagner should win this game very easily. Yeah. Double lash ride. Yeah. Uh, Dude, we have some really good matches. This yeah, match, we really have. Some other match I can't remember. Spagnolo, but something else too, I think. You know, he might want to keep that germ token alive just because the Crusaders he's afraid of. That's and it's probably. a black creature. Yeah, that, that was one reason that, that I thought I of. But, the, but the whole thing was was that that in fact, point, that, like he just that Buckingham could have been on only two camera, right? instead of three. Right. There you go. Yeah, that's last true. right. So, uh, right, so Wagner goes to eleven. Yeah. Paying a black and two Phyrexian yep. life. Yeah. So I like I like this attack. This yes. is good. Wagner. Moves the last rise to a Crusader, gets into the red zone with Crusader and Whispering Spectre. So right now this Crusader is a 7-7 first strike infant. So so it's lethal. Just, just for the record. Just for the record, right? Yeah. <laughs> I bet he feels stupid for now leaving that uh germ yeah. token equipped. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. Now he can't block and sack. Yeah, block and sack, yeah. So he's at a he's at a Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, does does James have overrun in his deck? Yes. And Wagner's on eleven? Yes. So hold on. It's nine, ten, eleven. 12. Is it lethal? Yeah, it would be. Well, not if he loses a guy, it's not, because it's plus six. Hold on. So so how big is that the soldier now is a two three. It's gonna be three. It's gonna be five, eight, eleven, fourteen. Yo, it's lethal. Overrun's no, no, lethal. No, he loses a guy. No, overrun is lethal. How big is um the golem, right? The golem's now. Four, a 4-4. It's going to go to a 5-5. Five, five. Five. So 8. And how big's the soldier? 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, 2-3. Two, two, 9. Yeah. Alright, 9-10. 11-12-13-14. And yeah. sacrifice. Yeah, overrun's 15. Lethal. Yeah, wow. Overrun's lethal. Well, but he gets to block 2 of it. So 13. Yeah, it's lethal. Yeah, it's lethal. Wow. Alright, so. That's if he has the overrun, or if he draws the overrun. Yeah, if he draws the overrun. So I mean, he's he, got 2 in he, the deck. Yeah. And he, and he definitely didn't sign any out, right? We haven't seen any any word that he cited about. Uh, yeah. 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 I don't know. All right. And Elspeth won't be good here, even though I thought that would be the MVP. No, so. <laughs> no. Elspeth does nothing here. Well, so yeah. It pretty much all comes down to overrun this turn. This is his only out. This is for all the marbles. Are there, are we playing for marbles? Please. I think marbles are the prize for this event. All right, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Marble currency. Yeah. Oh wow! Look what Wagner's doing now. Wagner's playing around the overrun because he's moving the last right. <laughs> yeah, Wagner. <laughs> he's so good. Wagner definitely do it. Play around the overrun. I would love to see this. Oh wait, so oh, he's, he's sacking the guy. Oh, he's doing, he was doing math for the spectrum. Oh, oh Wagner. He can move right. He goes to nine. He'll go to, he'll go to seven. Oh, yes. you go to seven. And that... Two, yeah, he, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he can't. No, no, he does play. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, never mind. Just because the mortar pod. Yeah, because the mortar pod. The mortar pod messes everything up. All right. 
Yeah. Um. Josh was Josh's turn zero. Is this this is still Joshua's turn right now, right? He's still we're still at the end of Joshua's. Yeah, yeah. Mana hasn't tapped yet. Yeah. All right, Here so he's go. putting counters on his guys. Oh man, if he rips the overrun, that's just gonna be too sick. Is that his only out? I mean, yeah, he has three turns. Does he like need it right now? Yeah. Is there like well, essentially a blade splicer would be good here too, or something, right? Yeah, no, but but no, it's lethal. Because, well, he doesn't know it's lethal, but he has the Wait. second um, last right in his hand. It may not be lethal. Doesn't the uh, because of the first strike on the crusader, it's going to shrink whoever he blocks, right? Is it? Is, is it? Oh yeah, yeah. It absorbs oh, more than two. Oh, okay. So he should have moved it. He should have moved the it last. It would have been incredible if he moved it. Yeah, that would have been really good. But I don't know if it, it still may not be lethal. I'm trying to think. Of no, it was, it's, yeah, yeah. It was 15 damage. Yeah. 15 okay. minus two. Or is it minus four? I think it's four. Guy, yeah, even the guy so it's eleven. So, so it's exactly it. no, it's exactly eleven. He shouldn't have moved it still though. He should not have moved it. No, because that wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Yeah, because he still but just killed. We don't killed, even know if he has the overrun. Guy. We're we're doing overrun math. Yeah, he 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 didn't draw the overrun. Overrun's exact right now. Obviously, he doesn't have it. Yeah. Because he would have done all the math on his opponent's turn. Sure. Yeah. What an exciting game. <laughs> That's <laughs> Look a good at that shot. shot. Yeah. 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 How does Wagner only have one supporter? Should I go over there? Nah, you gotta stay here, buddy. <laughs> Stand behind him. Yeah. And Avison's Pilgrim was the card he drew. Which, uh... That's a, a pretty bad. Well, it helps a little. Well, yeah, it's nowhere near an overrun. Yeah. Well, it's one, it's like... Give your opponent a turn, draw a card. <laughs> Alright, so now he draws Plague Stinger. Oh, so he's got Ratchet Bomb? When did that Ratchet Bomb come in his hand? He doesn't have Ratchet Bomb. You sure? Unless he just drew it. Ratchet Bomb's pretty good here. Yeah, it's a Ratchet Bomb. Isn't that it's not a, a Ratchet Bomb? Yeah. When did he draw Ratchet Bomb? Just I now. Didn't see it. Just, yeah, and he had Play Stinger last turn? Yeah, he had a last turn. Okay, alright, so he just drew Ratchet Bomb. So well, he, he just good. play it and crack it? That, yeah, I know, right. that's what I'm saying. Like, no more yeah. outs. The yeah. golem's still sitting there. It doesn't realize it's dead. Well, the soldier's no. still there, too. He's thinking about what soldier, he's going to okay. do with the yeah. damage from the mortar pod. Yeah, the soldier and the golem dies. So he shoots him down to 10. This game's over. Yeah, this game's over, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Josh Wagner. And then he plays... Yeah, yeah play the play singer. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Not only is he a national champion, he is a Star City Games champion. Is in he? a little in a couple rounds. Yeah. In a couple rounds, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. James draws his card. Overrun, here it is. That's an overrun. <laughs> <laughs> a turn too late. Yeah. I hope it's Elspeth so I look stupid. Oh, bird of paradise. Equip it. Don't equip it. And he shows him the last right. And that's oh, game. Sorry. Yeah. I got you. Josh Wagner, MVP. Stands for Mono Black Poison. Almost like MVP. Am I saying MVP or MBP? All right. Everybody yeah. home. MVP. MVP. All right. Am I saying you're in? Like you're in this draft that we're going to do? Like or you're in? All right. You ready? Is, is it you're in or you're in? You're in. That is you have to pee. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Am I playing? Am I saying lunch position? Like get into your lunch, like you're gonna go eat lunch, or lunge, like you're about to lunge towards oh, this, somebody. This one seems very easy. You think so? Lunch or lunge? Really? Are right, you ready? Hey Ben, <laughs> get into your lunch position. Lunge. Which one? Well, you have to say it. Say the word. I just said it. All right, get into your lunch position. Lunch position. Lunch. <laughs> like you're eating lunch? No. Lunch? No, I was saying lunch. I think. No, you are. <laughs> This game is fun. All right, am I saying, are you guys ready for this? All right. Am I saying gray with an A or gray with an E? Gray. It's the same word. Gray. It's what the same saying? word. Try it, gray. A. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. 
Josh, 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 Josh is on his way over. Here. Wow, oh my god, Josh is here. I'm gonna get out of here. Then. Yeah, get, I guess, yeah. Nice hey, seeing you guys. Need some room. Yeah, thanks for uh, for chilling with us. Yeah, Josh, you gotta stay here to clap for Josh Wagner. Um, <laughs> All right, when he comes over, because this is. That was that was an incredible match. We've seen so much good magic today. Yeah. Here he comes. Josh, Josh Wagner. Uh, I, I, I think G Fabs does. I'm gonna make some room for Josh. Oh. Okay, so wait, I am I leaving? No, I'm going to make room, and you're going to talk to Josh. Okay. Josh, Josh is hanging out in front Josh of Josh Wagner, come over here, Josh, Josh Wagner. Wow. Josh, everybody, Josh Wagner. This is this is Josh Wagner. Let me well, let me clear the, the seat for you, Josh Wagner. All right, this is Josh. Josh, man. First of all, I love the beard. Let me get a handshake. Thank you. I didn't see you in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Senior, I was going to stop by before. That. Really? I actually didn't even know you were here. Yeah, um, I'm definitely going to stop by. Yeah. yeah. A little. So, so first of all, the beard's awesome. Thank you. Second of all, you, you played a fantastic game. Did I? You, you did. Said, I can never tell with you. Sure. Well, okay, well, so what was going through your head when you attacked your 2-2 first striker into his 3-3 first striker? It's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> did Wait, I did you not know? You didn't realize? Okay, do you remember when he had a 3-3 goal? Yeah, I remember. I totally remember. I do that to people all the time. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe they expect better from me so they don't see it or what. But so, it happens a lot. Yeah, so it was great because you had a 2 2 first striker. Did you know his guy was 3 3 first striker? No. But you bluffed him. Yeah. You bluffed him bad. He took it. <laughs> you know? That, that's good, man. So I, I was describing to everybody at home that, that I would describe your play as like street play. Street play? Like street, you know? Yeah. Like. This is my second tournament this year. Yeah. 24th in Pittsburgh. Last yeah. year was my only tournament in uh, DC. Yeah. National. And you made top eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. made top eight at Pittsburgh too. So really? 24th place. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so what made you play this model black deck? And there's a kind of like a debate going on where, pretty much everybody's saying you want to play it like 26 lands. Is the right number? No. <laughs> 24. I think is right. 24. That's, that's what I play. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't had a problem all day. Maybe two mulligans all day. Really? All right, that's good. Yeah. Um, so you're playing on twenty. So you didn't really have problems with mana or anything. No. Yeah, I like the deck a lot. I'm surprised. It's, I always play mid range. I never play control. I don't. It's just ten rounds of control is not happening. Yeah. All right. So so you're playing a few cards that like Jerry is not playing. Did you make this deck up yourself? Or? Uh, yeah. I just looked at all the decks online. And yeah. you figured this is the, the magical best deck. online deck seemed a little ahead of the decks that I saw that the actual paper decks. Were Okay. It seemed a little bit ahead. Like, I like the four Spectres a lot. I don't know if Do you? Jerry plays those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's playing insane. three or something. All right, so, so you're playing Contagion Class as a one-off. Yeah. How's it been for you? I like it. You never, you know what I mean? You never want multiples in play. Yeah. You know, but one can win you the game sometimes. If okay. You, you know. All right, that's pretty good. And then you're also playing a main deck, uh, Spellbomb. Won me a match today. Drew it. My one up. Yeah? yeah All right. Good. I mean, uh, what's I, it for? Just for uh, Solar Flare? Solar or? Flare. I played, what is that? The guy that mills two and gets bigger with Trample. And the Boneyard Worm. Oh, the, uh, I the Star Star that card? Deck. Yeah, that's when I drew it in my opener. Really? Yeah. Okay, so, so he's awesome. playing one spell bomb. You're also playing one Tumble Magnet. Yeah. I don't so, know, that just seems like a lot of people play that. Uh, it was I, I actually didn't have it in until this morning, but uh, it's worked out well. It's pretty good? Okay, and, and the one card you're not playing, uh, one guy he's been watching the whole day, his name's Smitty. He actually was one of the uh, designers of the deck. And he said Trigon of, uh, of Green. I had it in there last night, the one of, I cut it. Yeah, I like a fifth, fifth last ray, but okay. I had to cut it. But you cut it for what? Uh, I think it was the, you know, the whatever, minus one, class minus or one. something? Class, class. class? Yeah. Okay. All right, other than that, the deck's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, you're playing yeah. a lot of the same cards as the other people. Are you, you're playing Despise Main? Four. Four? I love that card. Really? Okay, yeah, that's good. One, uh, Oh, not despise. I'm sorry. Despise. Yeah, distress. no, distress. One despise. One despise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Four yeah. Stress and nice. Yeah, that's good. Uh, how many skip directs are you playing? Two. Cut one of those last night. Yeah. You like them? A little expensive. Yeah. Too okay. Much for me. All right. And uh, yeah, especially you only 24 lands. Yeah. And the games that I feel like he would win the game, I'm sitting there with four mana in play or something. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It's rough. Yeah. It's rough. All right, and the other card that you know hasn't seen too much play. How's it been for you? You're playing two copies of uh, Victim of the Night. Well, I haven't ran in the red at all today, but yeah, I liked it better than Doomblade in my deck all day. Yeah. Really? I've been siding Doomblade out a lot. I haven't sided that card out once. And the interesting thing is, is that if Mono Black Infect becomes possible, and, and I mean, not possible, yeah, popular. That's yeah. the word to talk about. Yeah, then you want to play these over Doomblades. Right, because yeah. it pretty much kills anything you want. Unless red gets big, yeah, that card seems pretty good. If red gets big, what's the problem? With I guess is that werewolves too. Yeah, yes, be a problem. Why? Uh, oh, I guess they have a lot of uh, what is it? It's werewolf, zombie, and vampire. Vampire, it's a lot of vampires, right? The, the one more guy's a vampire. Is I that think, it? I think I think that's it in mono red. If, I, if I'm mistaken, yeah, that card's just ridiculous. I don't know. I haven't I haven't 
not been able to target anything I wanted to all day. That's yeah. all I know. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, you know what's funny? I was playing on Moto, and my opponent had that 3-1 Wolf guy. It's a 3-1 Wolf. That got first strike guy? Yeah, he could get first strike. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, this is a werewolf, and that's a wolf. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Do you it think you could right. kill it or no? I think you could. You didn't try? Just yeah, took it? No, you could kill it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah <laughs> I wasn't sure. I clicked on it to, like, to, to uh, see if they make yeah, me yeah. choose that Definitely. target. But all right, and, and your, your board's a little different oh, too, I guess. These cards should go. I don't think These cards are bad? I haven't sided them in once today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Member side good? Uh, no. Maybe a one-up. I would like them as a one-up. The other thing is that... Love that card. Okay, Favorite card. These cards right here, you had five lands in play. You drew a six land. Yeah. And you had one of these in your graveyard and you didn't play a land. Was it for, for bluffing to hook them in? When was that? Was that that match? Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was that match. It was game two. I thought it... I thought, yeah, yeah, maybe, I don't know. You bluffed him. Bluffed him. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, I said I regret it as soon as I, I didn't know he had the, what, it's a sword of the, yeah, yeah, I never saw sure, it, like, yeah, I don't know if sure. the deck plays it or main yeah. deck or a lot. But, didn't see it coming. All didn't right. Saw it, yeah. Well, anyway, Josh, good job. What do you, 8-1? one X one one. Oh, win. X one one. Wow. Yeah, so oh, okay. So hopefully, you win this round yeah, and you make round. top eight. Yep, thanks, man. So good nice luck, man, and, and great having you. Yeah. All right, yeah. awesome. So that was uh, national champ two thousand three, Josh Wagner. Good luck, man. So definitely, definitely really cool that he, that he stopped by, and we're gonna have our final, our final. Wow, this is a final round. This day went by pretty quick. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's the final, final like Swiss, Swiss round. round. Yeah, we can scoot back in here. Yeah. So, uh, All right. Cool. All right, we can so, center ourselves a little bit better. Yeah, this is good. All right, so we're centered. Yeah, we're I'm with Gerard Fabiano, Gfabs5, Twitter. Not me, probably Osip, but he puts funny things up. So, so we'll follow it yeah, anyway. Yeah, follow him anyway. Maybe one day he'll give me the account back. Or give it to me for the <laughs> first time.